on this channel we only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Hey guys, welcome back to another segment. Not the one normally do it, and I'm always here to give you guys updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Yes, uh, well, I want to ask a question this morning, and I will need your answers on the comment section. First of all, before I ask, I want to clarify something before I ask the question. I want to clear the air that Stanford Bridge is not owned. By Fulham, because if you go to some viewing center, most especially the day Chelsea is winning, if the one if our opposition fan one press us, that's say Chelsea and I get stadium, and I know get stadium, say now Fulham get the stadium, please. Stamford Bridge was built 1877, and Chelsea was founded 1905. 1905, 1905. So we see the gap. So Stamford Bridge has been there already you understand stanford bridge has been there already and fulham was founded 1879 stanford bridge was there already before fulham was founded just that fulham was one of the um, those clubs that they wanted them to use stanford bridge but they turned the proposal down they said they don't want to make use of stanford bridge Instead, the people that that created Stanford Bridge, we are the people that created the name Chelsea. So the big question here is, who is the owner of Stanford Bridge? That is, who really owns Stanford Bridge? So I I need answers. I want to learn from you, and you want to learn from me. So I need answers on the comment section. Who do you think owns Stanford Bridge? Because there's a lot of controversy going online about who really owns Stanford Bridge. But with my own understanding, you know, I don't know. That's why I'm asking as a question. Because when I see your comment, I'll tend to learn from your comments. With the way I see it, I feel that Stanford Bridge is not fully owned by Chelsea. And also, it's more like it's own more. It's more like an organization. Just like let let me use Nigeria right now. We have a Kwaibon Stadium. We have um uh, Alakaya Stadium in River State. Yeah, we have other stadium here in Port Harcourt. You understand? But different clubs comes to play on it. You understand? Different clubs they play on them, and they don't make on their home ground. Does not mean that the clubs the club own the stadium. Maybe the club feel partner with the owners of the stadium. Say we want to make it our home ground. Say for a certain period of time. And they sign the strike deal. At the long run, they can't they see say the club to they help develop the stadium. Then from there, they form a committee which the committee itself. People away from the club go still they square head the committee and people away from the committee they square head the club to make sure say things stay in harmonization for the development of the club and also for the pitch. Now the way I see Stanford Bridge, you understand? You know they like Asna, Emirates Stadium. Though Asna was like that before, you understand? They were patching the the owner finally built Emirates that they finally unveiled Emirates as of, as of July twenty second. 2006, now they unveil Emirates as Asna Stadium fully. You understand? They only talk about Chelsea not owning the stadium, that Chelsea no get stadium. Man City get stadium. Man City is not the owner of Etihad. It's just it's just the same thing. Just like Chelsea now. Why I said organization? So if you go online, you will see they call it they call them the CPO, Chelsea Pitch Owner. Go and read more about the CPO, Chelsea Pitch Owner. But my question again, who do you think is the real owner of Chelsea? I just got to talk that one where I talk now. Making I just get an idea of waiting the up. But to clear the air for the public, Fulham is not the owner of Stamford Bridge. Alright, let's push forward. Um Um Konogalaga contract. Well, nothing has been said so far. We are still waiting for Chelsea to do the needful. To extend this contract because 
his contract will be expiring by 2025 if i'm not mistaken by 2025 his contract will be expiring and if you know extending contracts that means they go heal him out and with his performance so far he has been good he has been fantastic so we don't expect chelsea to sell that guy out we don't expect it we don't expect chelsea to sell conor Gallagher out right now with the way we don't see him within work rates so we don't expect conor to leave chelsea but let's watch and see what will happen if chelsea will do the needful i believe that chelsea will do the needful it's just that the boy want to be more convinced that if he's going to sign a new contract with the club definitely he's going to get more playing time on the pitch you know as this matter they be now then i asked the question about enzo fernandez performance so far and some people came i saw some comments some we are good some we are not good some people comment that most of the people that comment they say um Pochettino is playing him out of position and again enzo is relaxed and the only issue they have with enzo is that he does not score goals he's not a score he's not a goal scoring midfielder and he should work on that area why some people say that they should bench him for some games that they, they are not really feeling his impact in some games so far you understand but for me he's not a bad player but just like i say said before i need a two filler maybe if you need the two crates do those passes where we they see making Lena to score goal make him become goal machines so that go they more more relevant more if Enzo they convert some of the chances when they get for that 18 yard boss when they get the ball to goals instead of um if they see where Enzo they shoot shots they just see if they pass give goalkeeper you understand they just see if they pass give goalkeeper so I just believe that um he will come out good he's still a good player I I don't have doubts about him but he need to step up his game because <laughs> guy Galaga has stepped up his game and Casado is doing well. So those these two me that's playing very well. It looks as if Enzo is not doing anything. Unlike when he was all alone doing the work and we were seeing him. So I believe say now wait on one of those reasons too. But even at that, we're making see the show himself say Naimbia is of Fernandez, see why we buy and yeah. And also you should try to have this goal scoring ability in him as a midfielder. It's very, very important and we need it. You will never know, but we need it then as for the aspect of the striker side um ivan tony is training this morning saying that uh ivan tony is more like a surest bet for chelsea well i will not conclude yet let's watch and see what's happened january if truly truly chelsea will sign another striker this january or not but i still have that belief that chelsea will sign a striker this january so far so good lukaku has been fantastic in the italian league um as roma he has scored 13 goals in 14 appearance and that's a very good one and his release and his um release clause is about 14 million euros if i'm not mistaken so as roma if I like the boy, we can pay the money, sign him. Um, no doubt, he's very good. But the problem with him is that he talks too much. He doesn't know when to come hold himself. He doesn't know when to balance. He just they misbehave. I know to I know to rate that guy whether I like him. I know to rate Lukaku. Take it or leave it. I don't rate him like that. You understand? But for your own side, now dear when he's coming, he's coming, no concern me. Yes, rumor, so making a brain money. And I don't see him now. We know given our wolf. In the score go. In the do things. You understand? So you guys should do the needful by next sem- summer transfer. Pay the money and we'll do all the paperwork and you finalize on that side. Then um we saw a picture of Christopher Nkunku wearing the training kit yesterday, putting himself together on the pitch. Well, for now, I will not say that he's back fully, but at least I will say he will start training. He will start having his personal training on the pitch that is on his own. You understand? T- they confirm, say yes, if he starts the train with the team. Else, for now, he go first day on his own, first day train. T- it is confirmed and clear that he can now train with the team you understand so for now um is a is a good one that we saw him on that area and also saw him on the pitch yesterday is a very good one i'm very happy for that 
at least we get somewhere to go and also um let's watch how tomorrow game will look like because we are still trying to see who will start for us because so far so good watching the three ma the three line attackers that um Pochettino used against Arsenal some people have been saying that he should use the same thing against Brentford I know be coach never can tell you don't know what in push feed do push feed wake up now see bring in Jackson and so far so good normally supposed to start Jackson even the game against Arsenal we were complaining that while why is it that Jackson did not start the game? But so far, so good. He has his reason, and the game was moving smoothly. See, Sanchez did his own miracle. You understand? So let's watch what will happen. But believe me, um, you don't expect Rich James to, to come back and bench Malogusto. It's not done that way. It's not done that way. So let's watch and see what will happen tomorrow. And also, Pochettino press conference will be by 1 p.m. today. I will come back here and later and give you guys scope on which player will be available and what are we are expecting from him tomorrow. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Do it to like the video, drop your thoughts and your concern. Just like I said, please, I want to know who is the really owner. Who is the real owner of Stamford Bridge? Is it Chelsea or someone else? So, let's know at the comment section i want to learn from you guys just like the way you want to learn from me thank you very much subscribe follow the page because on this channel i only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone my name is peters thank you very much for watching